Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my surprise fold box. So on the outside, it just looks like a cute little box, nothing too exciting. But then when you pop this ribbon off and you pop the lid off, you get a surprise inside. How pretty is that? And this simply opens up to be a cute little box with a pretty insert. So you can add some little treats in there and then when you're done you can just fold it all back up again and pop your lid back on and there you have your box. Now I've got to try and get this ribbon on which probably won't be so easy <laughs> but you'll have to bear with me because as I've said in some of my previous projects, I do make these ahead of time and then film them all in one go. So I probably made this maybe a week ago and I'm trying really hard to remember how to do it. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get there together. But yeah, a surprise fold box and I love this. So pretty. So to start off with, you're going to need then your basis for your box. So you'll need a piece of DSP that is 5 inches by 5 inches, which is 12 by 12 centimetres. You're going to need a base, which is 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, or 11 and a half by 11 and a half centimetres. And your lid, which is 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters, or 9.6 by 9.6 centimetres. Okay, so we'll do the box first, I think, because that's the easy part. So let's do the base, always start with the base because it's the easiest bit. So for your base, four and a quarter by four and a quarter, 11 and a half by 11 and a half centimetres. And we're going to score at one and a quarter inches on all four sides. And that will be three and a half centimetres. Then we're going to score our lid whilst we have this out. So I'm going to use the base for my shim and this needs to be three and three quarters by three and three quarters, 9.6 by 9.6 and we're going to score one inch on all four sides which is two and a half centimetres. Simples really. Okay, whilst I have this scoreboard out I'm going to score my DSP. So this is 5 by 5, 12 by 12 centimetres. We're going to score at 1 and a quarter, 2 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters, 3, 6, 9 centimetres. Rotate and repeat. So 1 and a quarter, 2 and a half, oh nearly, 2 and a half, three and three quarters, which will be three, six and nine centimetres. I'm going to pop the DSP to the side for the moment because I want to make my box up. So as you know, it's always simple, fold and burnish to make up the cute and easy box. Then we're going to cut the four corner squares into wedges. You know how this goes now, super, super simple. Just cut those wedges. Okay, and again with the lid. Same again, all four corners, cut into those little wedges, Oops. I just realised I haven't got my little piece of DSP for my lid, oh well, I'll have to cut it in a moment. So. That's that part done. So let's 
get these stuck and I'm actually just going to use some Tombow I think on these just because it will be drying then whilst I oops I put on my jumper you didn't see that it's a good job my mum can't see me <laughs> okay so my little pegs to hold this in place maybe I'm gonna have to use pegs on all of it and then one there and then my last little piece just tuck that in there okay same again with my lid oh I have got four of the clips we're okay so making up my lid and I'm just gonna grab my clips and again let's just oops sliding around I'm gonna pop those two in there now I'm oh goodness me the dogs are starting pop one there and there and then we'll do the same here shush daisy there's a lorry outside she can hear it she wants to know what's going on right so those are my box base and lid made up Hold up. Right. Now for the DSP. I do apologise. There's a van outside they can hear. So we've done our scoring, which is, as you can probably see better that side, a grid. What you need now is your long ruler. And we're going to score diagonally from the two furthest corners. So from top to bottom all the way. Then we're going to move across to the next grid, which will be the next score line. So if you can see, so I've scored from top to bottom there. I'm now going to go from this score line here all the way up to that one. That one, to that one, that one, to that one. And then the same this side. I have done it beforehand because it would take me ages. But you then rotate. So... Let me show you quickly. So once you've done the top to bottom there, we then go from score line to score line. I'm doing this quickly just so as I can show you back this way. Oops, can't see my score lines. Okay, so now we have score lines running. Can you see them? Not really very well, can you? Oh, there you go. You can see my score lines now running that way. We're then going to rotate and do the same again. So again, scoring from top to bottom and all the way across. So when you've finished, you have this. Okay, so we have the normal score lines that we did there. And then we have all of these diagonal ones too. Okay, now... It did take me a while to figure this out. So what I'm going to do is I will put a picture of this on my blog because I had to draw pencils and all manner so I could figure out what was going where. My advice to you would be turn your paper this way. Work from the single square in the center so you've got a square so let me zoom in okay so with your um paper in a diamond shape you will have i'll do it with my pencil you will have a square in the center that consists of four small squares okay if you work with that principle you will be able to do this. Let me zoom out a little bit to get the whole paper in. There we go. So this is my central square. So the next thing I then need is the triangle. So there's one triangle there. I don't know if you can see with that. Let me get a pen. 
so there we have our centre square there we have a triangle a triangle a triangle a triangle okay you then need to go off turn it back so you've got a square your drawn square in front of you with your drawn square in front of you you then need to follow this and this line and trim okay so what we're creating here are our tabs okay so can you now see how this lies over the top okay so there's that square we started with our triangles on all four sides then off those sides of the triangles so if you want to go back to a square we followed this diagonal and we're going to create a wedge okay so where are my scissors the first thing i'm going to do then is cut away these corner triangles because I don't need them I've gone all quiet because I'm concentrating and holding my breath and hoping to goodness that I've done this right <laughs> so I'm cutting away four triangles there so as you can see I'm still left with all those pen marks so all I need to do here obviously this is where we have our tab stroke wedges now you can measure these if you want you know me I don't do stuff like that so I'm just going to go round and trim them all down so I'm now left with this now you it, unfortunately it does seem to waste quite a bit of DSP but I think it's worth it <laughs> so this is the bit that you need to make sure you're going to get right because if you mess this up it won't work you need to pierce a hole right in the center of your square if you look at your triangle that you put on the top of your square you need to reflect it down so what you're doing in effect here is creating a cross okay on your square with your paper snips you're now going to follow those score lines not my wonky pen lines up to the corner. Once you've got started it is actually quite simple. I'm going to cut down all four. Okay and that is your beautiful if not pen marked <laughs> box. Okay and that now you can see is taking shape. This is going to sit inside your base so let me zoom out a little so now I'm going to bring my base in take my clips off flip this over and I want to put adhesive just on the four bits that I've cut there so I've got my snail and I'm literally just going along the edges there flip it over and then just obviously need to separate the glue pop this on your box and obviously you need a flat edge with a flat edge don't do what I just tried to do and then I use two to get the DSP in place but you just then fold it down and adhere those pieces inside okay this is really the easiest part now 
because what you need to do is you're folding and you sort of have to do two at a time really you're folding these parts in but this will fold out and that folds over and then I just sort of give that a little bit of an extra crease with my nail just to assist it okay so we'll do that again so you fold two pieces in so that these little tab bits here are going to fold out and as you do that this piece automatically folds itself over I hope this is clear I know that you guys are beautiful and say that my instructions are clear but sometimes I feel like I'm just talking nonsense <laughs> so again we're pushing the points of the triangles together we're going to open the DSP out and then we're going to fold that corner over and as you can see as I say I'm just reinforcing it gently with my nail just to encourage them to fold the correct way and once you get the hang of it it actually becomes although it's this one's now being fiddly but it actually falls quite nicely into place and once you've done that on all four you should then just be able to pop it all in now it will pop up like this because it needs to sit in its box for a little while and the box lid obviously holds it in place and then I just simply pop my lid on you might just need to tuck the DSP in but I pop my lid on it's got caught on the tab I think that's it and then it's almost against the grain but just push it because the paper will fold where it needs to and your lid will then go on nicely and then obviously when you open it you get that pretty I probably would have been better doing this the other way around actually so that my pattern paper was here and this was the brown but it doesn't matter because when it opens up you then get that pretty pretty DSP so that's the fancy surprise fold bit inside okay come on you I'm gonna play this game now dogs are barking again give that a nice gentle push there we go and then so I've got not very much left of my braided trim oh my DSP nearly forgot you need a square of DSP for the lid which I didn't get ready so look at this I've hardly got any of this left that makes me sad because I love this DSP right so for my DSP I will need one and a half inches by one and a half inches or 4.1 by 4.1 centimetres okay so a bit of snail on the back and again I didn't want to add um, I didn't want to add a ton of stamping and stuff because I just want this to the bit, somebody to think well that's just a cute little box and then when they open it there is the surprise and again I'm not going with bows I'm going with a basic knot there we go give that a little trim and that is my surprise fold box I hope you like it and it didn't actually go wrong which I'm really surprised about thank you for joining me I'll see you again soon bye